Hey team, just checking in. Uh, I'm in my usual spot uh, during lunchtime, although it's empty right now and uh, I'll get my mask on when folks come in to lunch. I uh, just want to give you an update. Uh, the county's coming today to put in two triage tents just in case anybody uh, from our community or the community comes in and uh, needs to be tested and sent out. Uh, just want to let you know um, this is a precaution and uh, it's going to be in the courtyard. Uh, our men's day area is going to be locked up. The men's day area is going to be uh, uh, directed to walk down a barricade to the restrooms. The uh, folks in the triage area are going to uh, be directed around the corner to utilize two of the outside restrooms, specially marked only for triage guests. Uh, the men uh, are going to come into lunch through the sprung structure area just temporarily uh, into uh, into our meal and uh, we're continuing on as as regular uh, in this new world uh, somewhat of a Twilight Zone movie uh, I just want to reassure you all uh, that we moved some fellas from the third floor in isolation uh, who were over 60 or had secondary issues for their own good they moved to some hotels now they happen to go in ambulances but I just wanted to share with you that didn't mean they were sick that meant uh, that they just got chauffeur rides in very caution concerned uh, drivers uh, in ambulances so I guess that's the best way to say it uh, they got personal chauffeur ambulances to their hotel room or motel room some went to Pomona some will go to a local hotel when it gets ready the Mayfair I think we moved we moved or are moving approximately 26 total guys in the CLDP the Christian Life Discipleship Program third floor who've been isolated because of our uh, wonderful teammate who's uh, still in the hospital continue to pray uh, for our teammate uh, lift up our teammate sorry that this is a new normal uh, but I just want to reassure you that God is with us uh, God is watching over us we only have one confirmed case and he has not been on site for over a week uh, we have four close roommates and teammates of our uh, fellow who's who's struggling right now they are at Dockweiler Beach they've been tested we will know the results soon we'll keep you posted um, we're trying to be very transparent without causing fear uh, all of us have that fear right all of us have that fear uh, and yet we still are called to do what we do some of you are doing it from home some of you are doing it from quarantine just to be safe. Some of you were sent home because you're in that in that area of having a secondary issue, and uh, or or you're over a certain age. Uh, but God is with us all. God is working through us all. Uh, we will get through this together. Uh, God is our champion. Um, be in prayer. Uh, things are things are well here practicing social distancing as, as well as we can possibly do. Wear a mask, I just sent out a note. Wear a mask, maintain six feet of distance, maintain more than six feet. If you're out in the wind, you may feel safe outside, but if it's windy, maintain even more distance. Wear the mask, wash your hands every 30 minutes. Maybe this will be a great practice for us. Some good news is there's a federal judge coming again today to have me give him a tour of Skid Row, going to bring restrooms, 50 restrooms, 60 wash stations throughout Skid Row, and perhaps even more help uh, when, he, when he asks the city to bring in attendance. And he's asking us to give him a tour every day to just make sure that that's happening. And he's become a good friend. Pray for judge, federal judge David Carter and uh, Keep him in your prayers. He's gonna bring lasting change to the landscape of Skid Row, and we will have been part of it. Love you guys, praying for you.
and uh, you and your family stay safe. All of our friends, all of our donors, all of our teammates, pray for all of our guests. Love you very much. God bless you.